Today, I'm going to show you how to build a real-time data pipeline from scratch in just a few minutes. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to use the public Twitter feed as the data source for our pipeline. Let's get started with the first step towards building our pipeline, installing MemSQL. MemSQL is really easy to download and install. For this demo, we'll use the free community edition on an Amazon EC2 instance. We'll install MemSQL directly on the EC2 instance with MemSQL ops by running the install.sh command. For this demo, we are installing MemSQL on a single node, but you can just as easily install MemSQL across an entire cluster in minutes. MemSQL will be the persistence and serving layer of this pipeline. Now that MemSQL is installed, we can visit the MemSQL Ops web UI and look over the install. The next step in creating the pipeline is to install Apache Spark and Spark Streamliner, which allow for data transformation and enrichment. To start, open the MemSQL Ops interface. Click on the Spark tab on the left-hand side to begin install. Installing Spark on its own can be quite challenging and require a bit of configuration and tuning. To facilitate a seamless Spark installation, we built an integrated solution within MemSQL that makes it easy to install Spark on a single machine or cluster. Apache Spark and Spark Streamliner are now installed. It is time to set up the third critical component of our pipeline, Apache Kafka a popular message queue technology. Kafka's role is to condense data into consumable streams, in this case tweets, just one example of a real-time stream. For this demo, we are going to run Kafka in a Docker container. This command creates a topic in Kafka called Twitter. Now let's use Spark Streamliner to connect all the pieces. We will build our integrated pipeline via the MemSQL Ops UI. Click the Add New Pipeline button to get started. First, set the name and interval for the pipeline. The extract phase is where the pipeline gets data. Kafka is the default, but you can load from all kinds of sources with custom extractors. Next, select the transform. The default is JSON, but just like extractors, you can define your own custom transform. Finally, for the load phase, define a database test and table tweets. The system will automatically create the table for us with the appropriate types. Then hit save and the pipeline will start running. Now that our pipeline is installed, it's time to get the data flowing. We wrote a Python script that uses Twitter's public API to grab tweets and push them through Kafka. This is what allows us to take data from a sample stream like tweets and write them into Kafka. Right now, we are loading tweets into the Twitter topic we created earlier. And by the way, it only took 10 minutes to write the script. Data is now flowing from the public Twitter API through Kafka, Spark, and into MemSQL. If we connect to MemSQL, we will see our test database and inside the test database, a table called tweets. We can run a count star query to see how many tweets have been loaded into the system. If we run it a few times, we see that the system continues to load tweets. We can also run some more interesting queries on the data. Let's try a specific query in MemSQL, top hashtags on our Twitter data. You can define queries on a complex schema on the fly without doing any work in advance. That's the power of SQL and JSON. Of course, JSON incurs dynamic overhead. With MemSQL, you can optimize based on what you see from initial queries to make things run faster in production. To speed up the queries in this workload, let's run an alter table. MemSQL alter table is an online operation. The entire time it is running, the read and write workloads continue to run in the background. This alter statement creates a computed column on the top hashtag field, computed at the time the row is inserted. Now, the same query you ran earlier runs over the computed column instead of the JSON column, and so it runs an order of magnitude faster. MemSQL gives users flexibility because you can start a workload in development, explore and identify data patterns that you want to be able to query in production, and then run online alter tables to optimize the workload. With this data pipeline, we now have access to data in seconds and can analyze that data in countless ways to benefit our projects, businesses, and more. 
MemSQL Spark Streamliner ensures a fast, efficient production environment for real-time applications. Thank <laughs> you.